Hi, it's Loan from Google Tech. Today I will show you how to change from this $2 night light into this colorful little fan photo night light. You can find this night light in any dollar store. I got mine for $2 Canadian. It has two parts. The first is the bulb that you can plug into the wall and the second part is the transparent diffuser. Basically, we will add the base of this diffuser into your little fan photo so that it can be mounted on the LED bulb like this. The process to do this is First, prepare your photo and make the little fan photo out of it. Second is make the base for the photo that you just make. And then we can combine the base and the photo together to make it the shade for the night light. First step is to make the color little fan photo. Basically, you will add a laser printed paper behind the little fan photo to give it some color. You could do that with the website is little and, and I'm gonna show you now. Here is how it looks when it has the color behind it. Let's see. And this is how it looks without the color. You can create the little fan photo with color using the website is little and the address is tune.islittle.com. First you need to upload your photo. I choose the stock photo here, open. Then go to model and uh, select the art. Because we have the semicircle base, we need to use the art and um, the height. I'm gonna choose 90. You can choose what, uh, the, the height that you refer, okay? It's just an example. I choose 90. For the angle, you can use 180 because we make a semicircle base. It should be like semi cylinder photo. It's 180. The maximum thickness is 2. The minimum, give it a 0.8 as is. For the frame options, um, the thickness here is 2. And the depth, I also choose 2. Leave the angle at this. For the quality options, um, the 0.1 is very, very small. So you're gonna increase the size of the photo and you're not gonna see it with the uh, small size photo. So I'm gonna put it at 0.3. And now um, you will see the size of the photo is 12 megabyte. Is it perfect? Now you can download the file. Okay, first download the little fan photo file. Save and then also download the color little fan. Okay, that's it done with the is little website. Then we will need to design the base so that it can be mounted on the box like this. You can use uh, many software to do it. I refer the open source software like FreeCAD or OpenSCAD or Blender for my projects. I included the free cat and the open S cat file in case you need to edit the model. Let's measure the dimension of the diffuser bay. Here we have a gap with 17 mm. Okay. And the length of the gap is here. is 23.5 mm so that we know about the gap also the thickness of this is uh, 1.3 mm 
So that is for the base. We're gonna make the same base with the diameter of the photo that you make so that it can be combined with the little fan photo here. Now let's check on the file that you just downloaded. You see this file open. Let me rotate it so we have better view. Uh, it should be uh, 270 around the Z axis. Okay, here is the file. To create the perfect base for this file, you need to know the exact size of it. The X size in here is 85.07. This will be the diameter of the base. You can create the base for this photo using either OpenSCAD or FreeCAD. If you want to use OpenSCAD, this is what you have to do is open my OpenSCAD file, edit the diameter to the value of X here, 85.07. You can also edit other parameters like the gap length and the gap width like uh, I explained before and also the thickness after that you can render the file and you can export the SDL and let's save it base open as cat if you want to use free cat here's what you have to do open my free cat file go to spreadsheet and edit the diameter to the one that we want which is 85.07 Again, you can edit other parameters like thickness, gap length, gap width as you wish. Then, um, go back to the model and let it update it. Now, we can export the body to the STL file. Let's save it as free cut. When you already have the photo, and the base file ready the last step is to combine them together if you want to print it yourself you can combine them in the slicer that you use here i gonna use prusa slicer because i have three 3d printer of prusa there's only one important thing that i want to remind you uh, it is about the plug that you're gonna plug the nightlight to uh, in canada the round pin is on the top so when it plugs into the plug it's gonna be like this Okay, and my light, night light is like this. Uh, depend on the light that you get. Okay, if you're in US, the plug is like this. So when you plug it in, it's gonna be like this for the night light from the wall. If you look, just pay attention to choose the correct direction of your photo. Now we can merge the base and the photo together. Uh, let's add the two base that we just created So you see they might correctly with the photo because the size is correct 85.07 Let me drag them out for you to see here Like this so this is the two base Okay, you can print them together with the photo when you add it um, just pay attention one thing So when you add the uh, file depend on the plug that you have it can be uh, Like upside down or upside up depend on the plug that you have For example, let me load another file of the uh, photo So here let's say we have two Okay um, if you are in US, the round pin is on the bottom, so may, you may have to bring it upside down. Let me add it, rotate it around Y, 180 degree. It's like this. So some, some country, you have to print it like this. Some you can print it like this. Depend on the block you have. Let me show you how to put them in the position that uh, you can bring them easily. So here and here. Let's say I put this as one sixty. Okay. Uh, 
100 okay this one we can put as city and 100 so then this one if you want to mark with this this should be 160 100 and this one is 60 and 100 so using the um, coordinate you can actually match them together for slicing and then print them together uh, just remember pay attention to the direction of the photo depend on the block that you have and that's it you have the shape in case you don't have a 3d printer and you want to send them to a shop you can export the base and the photo to one stl file using prusa Lizer. i think the other software you can help you too you can do also do that with blender let me know in the comment if you want to know how and i will make a quick tutorial about this after you printed the whole piece with the base and the photo together you can also print uh, color print the paper that come from the website is little and just slide them in into the little gap here that I make in the base so the photo will stay you want if you want to be sure you can add some clue into here but uh, my photo was staying like this it doesn't uh, have any problem of the thing uh, fell out or, or rocked out so this is how you can make a color little fun night light from the very cheap night light so let me know in the comment if you have any question i will try my best to have happy making